So my name's Kate Waterman. I am 16 years old. <laughs> and I am in 11th grade. So the topic this year is obviously angered. But I immediately connected with this topic because when I was younger, me and my family lived in Massachusetts and with my grandparents. So we would constantly be by the ocean and um, be sailing because my grandpa had a sailboat. So if I learned one thing from being by the ocean and constantly sailing is that if you're not anchored, you're going to drift and you're going to get lost and it's going to be hard to find your way back. And I feel like we can connect that with our faith journey. If you're not anchored, you're going to drift away. And you don't know how you're going to get back. So four years ago, my grandma passed away. And she was that, um, that person that I aspired to be. Like, she was connected with God, constantly praying and constantly in her Bible. And you would look at her. And her faith would be extremely contagious. You, you, it's so amazing how connected she was and anchored she was. When she passed away, I didn't stay anchored. And I drifted away. And I was lost. And I didn't know where to go. I felt very alone. Of course, we had Flower City every year and the Fall Tree and that, those were amazing things, and it, it helped me get back connected with God. But for about a week, you'd be on that spiritual high, and you'd be connected with God. And, oh, I could do anything. God's great. Yep, that's what I felt like. And then about a week later, you'd slowly lose your momentum and sink back down, and you wouldn't be anchored, and you'd drift. I spent four years trying to find my way back to shore, but... It, it wouldn't happen until this past fall retreat when Mr. Lewis was speaking the very last night. And he said, if you don't step out of the boat, you're not going to get anywhere. And that stuck in me ever since he said that. I had been mad at God, and I didn't know what he was doing with my life. But once I started praying and getting more in the word and listening for his voice, I slowly started to get connected again, and I found my way back. So it, I don't, it is so amazing to me that my sister and I would step out of the boat every single day, every single day, jumping out of the boat into the ocean. But when it comes to our faith journey, we're not stepping out of the boat, and we're not doing anything. And it, we find it hard to step out of our comfort zone and do things that we didn't think we ever could before. So as a result of the fall retreat and Mr. Lewis telling me to step out of the boat, I'm here in front of everybody today. But I've never been really much of a public speaking kind, so <laughs> I don't think anybody ever has. But I felt God tugging on me saying that this needed to happen, so as a result, I'm here, and I've never been closer to God than I have before. Thank you. Yeah.